thought of you And where you gone Let the world spin by them Hi you guys, this is my first vlog from Michigan and it's unscripted so it might be a little bit awkward. Um, I'm here in my cabin, this is the first time I've gotten to move in so I before I was in a cabin with a bunch of other counselors and now this is my cabin and I get to set it up and put up my spiffy decorations and happy posters and everything because the children come tomorrow, no, oh thank goodness, the children come on Wednesday and today is Monday. And tomorrow's Tuesday. <laughs> it's been a really long week and a half. I got here um, Friday night, a week and a half-ish ago, and I flew in, and I was like a red-eye flight, so I was super tired. Um, yeah, it's been a really big whirlwind of like 250 faces. That's about how big the staff is here. It's really huge, um, but there, there's like they all have different jobs, so there's really only like 150 counselors or something. No, probably more than that. But yeah. Um, but the camp's divided into, into sections, and um, the whole thing is Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp, and there's like a main camp section with most of the counselors, and that's um, that's like the high school groups that are going to come through, and I'm in a little camp section called Camp Bernstein, which is a middle school camp, um, so there's only 22 of us counselors actually, and we have two unit leaders, so it's really awesome. I like getting to know my <laughs> small, tight-knit group. That's probably... <laughs> the best possible situation for me, so I'm pretty excited. So far, our orientation has been a lot of, like, talking about our feelings and getting really excited about kids going here and, like, this is how I deal with discipline problems. So it's, like, it's not something I'm quite used to. Maybe it's a fine arts thing. I'm used to more, like, you tell the kid to shut up and sit down, and it's been, it hasn't quite been like that, but probably the scariest thing about orientation was, A, having to be really extroverted and meet a bunch of new people, and, B, they do their best to try to scare you with homesickness. Now, like, I've dealt with kids with homesickness before, and usually you just pat them on the back, you let them cry, and then you distract them with pie. Like, literally, I've done that before, and pie works. Um, but here, they're like, it's an epidemic, and it's scary, and kids will be homesick. And I guess it's a little scary, because the kids are here for 12 days instead of just six, like the last camp I worked at. But, yeah, they say it spreads like wildfire, and if you have kids that are homesick, you hear your strategies to deal with, and it will happen to you, and it's really, it's really daunting. Um, they just do things differently here, just as a camp, just from what I'm used to. But, like, honestly, the people are not that different here in Michigan. Um, I, it's really hard to judge Michigan, Michiganian, Michiganites, Michiganians. It's really hard to judge people from Michigan just based on what I've seen here because it's like going to the San Diego Zoo and then trying to judge the Southern California wildlife by the animals you see there because almost, like, at least 60% of the people here are not from in-state. They're, they've flown around from, they've come from like Illinois and Texas and California and I'll, there's people here from like 38 different states I think. I've met two people from Washington but I'm the only Oregonian so uh, I get to, actually one of the girls from Washington, one of the girls is a, a singer, whatever. Uh, the other girl is from Tacoma and Walla Walla and she is a Doctor Who fan and she also likes Firefly Star Trek so I think we're gonna get along really well and she's in my unit actually her name's Laura so yeah I just want to give you a tour of my cabin really quick there's my bed I haven't actually moved in yet so all my stuff is really disgusting and messy um there's my cool bookshelf oh, messy um I have a bunch of bunk beds and this awkward single bunk back here. My cabin is wheelchair accessible, which is awesome, but also really awkward because it's shaped like it's shaped like a really fat staple, which is the shape we've decided to give it. Um, but I have two bathrooms, which is so these are so these are such cool cabins. Um, the cabins I stayed in last time they had like a public bathroom for like 40 campers, so <laughs> we had like three toilets. It sucked, <laughs> but I get two bathrooms in just my cabin so I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, here's what Michigan looks like outside. You can see that. I don't know. It's really not that exciting. We're in a forest. The forests aren't very thick. Like They're like, oh yeah, we're in the middle of the deep woods, but like they aren't coniferous trees like we have back at home. I learned that word here because they don't have them here, so back at home our forests are really thick and dense and you like you have to chop down trees in order to actually go into the forest and here they're 
sparsy. It's, it's kind of like, I say here for it. It's still a little bit artsy fuzzy. But um, yeah, that's Michigan. It has been humid. I was really afraid of the humidity because I don't do well with humidity back at home, but like you get used to it really fast. Honestly, like I've only been here a week and a half and it's not that bad. It's more like a state of being than a weather condition. Like you're just always kind of moist and you just kind of deal with it. <laughs> it's really, it's really disgusting. You just have to not think about it pretty much actually. It's more like another degree of hot weather. It's like you go inside to get fresh air instead of go outside to get fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so I should tell you about the camp uniform. It was really annoying at first because we had to wear these really spiffy, classy polos that every day, they look like this every day. You wear the same polo every day. Hopefully you have two or three of the same polo and then you wear either jeans or navy blue pants. Ooh, I'm sporting the... And then you have to wear shoes. You can't wear sandals anywhere on camp. It sucks, so the Oregon Union is really sad. I love to go barefoot everywhere, but there's like death and broken glass on the ground, so we can't go in sand. Also, the whole place is covered in sand, but I don't think that's just Michigan. That's just this camp because it um, it's right next to a bunch of lakes. Maybe that is most of Michigan. There's, there's like lakes everywhere in Michigan. Like apparently, you can't go more than fi a five mile walk in any direction without hitting a lake or a river. There's really nothing scary about Michigan until the campers come. <laughs> I'm a little scared of the campers. I'm a little scared. I'm a little more scared of the parents, to be honest. But yeah, that's what's been going on. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's really a, mostly instrumentalists at this camp, so it's pretty cool. And um, I get to play in a bunch of ensembles. Like, um, they have a staff band made up, made up of just the counselors, and then they have, like, a faculty band. And they have a, like, they also have a faculty orchestra and choir and stuff um, that you, you audition for and you get to play in if you're good enough. Um, so I get to play in a couple of those on and off, like, this session, the first week and a half of campers, I get to play with the staff band and a thing called Masterworks Orchestra, which I guess is made up, made up of the faculty and staff and maybe even some campers if they're good enough. So I get to play um, Tchaikovsky's Third Symphony. Pretty excited. Second session, I get to play New World Symphony. It's gonna be good. Um, and then into the third session, I get to be in the festival band and the festival orchestra and the staff band, and I get to play part of the Verdi Requiem, which is a big camp like thing. Yeah, there's a lot of playing going on. And like honestly, I get paid to play, which is the first time that's really ever happened for me, um, which is funny because I'm not that good. But we have various jobs throughout the day because it's structured like a school. You have different periods, like a block of time, um, just like in high school. And you're either with the kids or you're playing or you're doing chores in the unit. And I, since I'm playing most of the time, I'm usually either with the kids or playing. That's about all I know so far about what camp's going to be like here. I'll Hopefully keep you guys updated. Uh, right now I'm going to watch Legend of Korra. <laughs> I'm really excited to finish it. I'm a little behind because it came out on Saturday and today's Monday. Mm -hmm. um, I'll keep you guys updated as often as possible. I really don't have that much internet access and I don't think I'll have a lot of time to go on the internet during the week. So weekends maybe, um, except sometimes we do weekend excursions like some of the girls I'm talking about going to down to Chicago and just driving down. and. I'm hoping we can go before I'm 21 so that they don't <laughs> um, try to force me to drink stuff because they're all a little bit of the party type. It's it's like surprising how easy it is for me to fit in with these guys, mostly because it's so structured, but um, yeah, most people are really outgoing and like kind of party people and big university people. And I'm really glad that I feel like I found a place here um, so quick, <laughs> but um, maybe that's just the nature of the camp. It's really cool. I do miss home though. I miss you guys. So I want to hear what's going on with you guys, so please Facebook me. You should send me links to vlogs if you guys vlog because I won't have time to just browse through them. Oh yeah, write me letters. I have my address written down somewhere and I'll get that up to you. Actually, this is the address right here. Hold on. This is my camp address, except it's going to say Alyssa instead of your name. No, I'll post this on Facebook and stuff so you guys can see it. But yeah, I'm glad I had the, I had like a uh, hour long breakish, so I'm glad I had a second to just record. <laughs> and I'm not sure when I'll get this up. Hopefully later tonight. So I really miss you guys. Keep in contact and I'll talk to you soon. Love you all. High five.